Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Everything That Breathes, and our scripture is Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heaven. Praise Him for His mighty works. Praise His unequaled greatness. Praise Him with a blast of the ram's horn. Praise Him with the lyre and harp. Praise Him with a tambourine and dancing. Praise Him with strings and flutes. Praise Him with a clash of cymbals. Praise Him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. The picture of a three-ton elephant next to a two-pound egret is a perfect symbol for this last chapter of the Psalms. Juxtaposition, seeing the contrasting difference between two or more of anything placed together, is today's word for praise. To paraphrase the psalmist's encouragement, let's just say, let everything that breathes praise the Lord, however that creature can offer praise, no matter how much they differ from one another. The juxtaposition of different kinds of praises are represented in the psalm writer's musical instruments. Ram's horns blasting and cymbals clanging are what they do, loud, bombastic, and overpowering to declare God's majesty. The contrast of strings, flutes, and harps so gentle and lilting are just as authentic paintings of God's beauty and kindness. And then there's dancing to the beat of drums and tambourines, a frenzied release of the heart's joy to celebrate the goodness of God's mercy towards his created universe and all its inhabitants. Praise to God comes in so many differently wrapped packages, it's difficult to even have a category list, let alone a comprehensive dictionary of the ways creation offers praise. But maybe the juxtaposition of church and cicadas come close. Church services lift praise in song in many other ways. The lowly 17-year cicada locust eats everything in sight and blasts a chorus of night songs that could keep Rip Van Winkle awake. Our first introduction to these little beasts came many years ago when our children were preschoolers. Our two-year-old son Jason was lying prostrate on the back patio, chin on the ground, facing one of the little buggers. He had his tongue extended for the ugly little beast to crawl up. I've tried, but I cannot imagine what was going on in that little mind. The eggs from which cicadas hatch were buried 17 years prior in the ground. Somehow, God awakens them all at the same time in 204 months, and they come out of the earth like, well, locusts. They do the locust thing, eating like they've been stuck on a diet for decades. The sound of their wings and hind legs rubbing together is an opus day similar to a thousand lions roaring for dinner. The sound is the male mating call, which is followed by more millions of cicada eggs buried in the ground. And in just a few short weeks, they're gone, leaving empty shells of bodies strewn all over, stuck to tree trunks, on patio floors, gutters, and every other nook or cranny you could imagine. Their song of praise is always short, loud, unstoppable, and no mistake. In this dance of praise to their Creator's design, they serve a purpose, pruning mature trees, aerating the soil, and when they die, returning vital nitrogen to the soil from whence they came. Now, stand that image of annoying cicada bugs in your mind against a four-year-old child singing, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. And there it is juxtaposition. They're so different and so alike, offering to God the praise he placed within them. The next time you see a hurricane building in the tropics or watch on TV as a volcano erupts or the 17-year locusts return, try to remember God's creation doing what the Almighty Hand has given them to do. Praise his holy name. And while you're at it, Think of your neighbor or 
that person on the other side of town or the other side of the world, and how differently he may offer praise than you do, and then offer the praise he put inside of you in just the way he designed it. For you today, whether you're an elephant, an egret, or a cicada, or just somebody who happened to wake up today in God's universe, there's a song inside of you. Sing it loudly or softly, on key or off, but don't keep it to yourself. Offer it to Him. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.